Hello, my name is Ken, and this is my review of Fujifilm's FinePix X10 camera. And I'm going to say right here from the get-go, I'm 64 years old, and what I know about cameras and photography, you could put into a thimble and still have plenty of room left over. <laughs> this video is being recorded with a Canon A1300 PowerShot compact camera. It's videoing in the standard 640 format at 24 frames per second and mono sound. And here it is. This is Fujifilm's FinePix X10 camera. Made in Japan. It's all metal and it comes in black. And the very first thing that I noticed about this camera right out of the box was how much it looks like and feels like a real camera from back in the day. <laughs> and I like that. The Fuji X10 is a 12 megapixel digital camera that uses a large two-thirds of an inch light sensor. Now I'm not a light sensorologist, but from my researching, it's my understanding that the Fuji EXR CMOS CMOS is the latest and greatest in light sensor technology. And the X10 is probably the largest compact camera in the class of compact cameras. So if you're looking for a small light plastic compact camera, then this X10 is probably not your camera. <laughs> This camera is bigger than most compact cameras, but it's not as big as an SLR camera. It measures approximately four and a half inches wide by two and three quarter inches high and approximately two and one fourth inches deep. This camera weighs three quarters of a pound, which probably explains why Fuji furnishes a neck strap with this camera. You don't want to drop your $600 camera. <laughs> But I didn't want to look like just another tourist walking around with a camera hanging around my neck. So I purchased a wrist strap from Amazon and put it on my camera. Because when I'm on a vacation trip, I like to carry my camera in my t-shirt pocket. Right there. It's a snug fit, but it does fit. And when I'm not carrying my camera with me, I keep it stored away in this inexpensive padded nylon camera pouch that I also purchased from Amazon. This camera pouch is made by GT Max and the Fuji X10 fits just perfect. And for easy access to the camera, this pouch has two zippers and there's a side pocket where the Fuji battery charger and a spare battery also fits just perfect. And this pouch has an adjustable shoulder strap. So there you go. An inexpensive camera pouch made by GT Max. But for the tourist or the photographer who must have a neck strap, here it is. Fuji Films adjustable neck strap that is included with the camera. And the camera has two sturdy metal eyelets, one on each side of the camera for attaching the neck strap. And here's the Fuji battery charger that's included with the camera. This battery charger is very small, it's very light, and it's very easy to use. Just pop down the two prong plug that's located on the back of the battery charger, just like that, and the battery charger plugs into a 110 volt wall socket. And here's the Fuji NP50 battery that's also included with the camera. This battery measures approximately one and a half inches by one and a half inches by approximately one-fourth of an inch thick. The battery snaps into the battery charger 
just like that and the battery charger has one small light that illuminates while the battery is being recharged. It takes approximately 2 hours and 15 minutes to recharge a dead battery. When the battery is fully recharged the light goes out. It doesn't get much simpler than that. <laughs> and the nice thing about this battery is the fact that it can be recharged at any time. It does not have to be fully discharged before recharging. And for such a small battery it packs a powerful punch. A fully charged battery will do approximately 1 hour and 40 minutes of high definition video or approximately 270 JPEG pictures. The X10 camera uses a standard class 4 or higher SD card that is not included with the camera. And now back to the camera again. On the bottom of this camera and for easy access behind this cover door is where the battery and the SD card plugs in. Right there. The cover door is made of metal it's sturdy and it's easy to operate. And another feature that I really like about this camera is the fact that in addition to having the LCD screen it also has a large optical viewfinder right there. That's a feature that has disappeared on most cameras today but for me it's a must have on a bright sunny day and I really like this viewfinder and it has a diopter adjustment on the side right next to the viewfinder which allows you to adjust the viewfinder for your particular eyesight that's a nice feature and to help protect the polished glass lens this camera comes with a metal lens cap. Don't lose that. And here's a nice feature. This camera turns on by rotating the lens. Just like that. A picture or a video is ready to take from the very moment this camera is turned on. I could not tell you how many good pictures and videos that I have missed over the past several years because of my slower than molasses in wintertime cheap plastic compact camera is taking forever to come on and by the time the camera finally does decide to come alive the photo subject has already gone bye bye <laughs> it has been so frustrating but not with this camera a picture or a video is ready to take from the very moment that this camera is turned on and I like that. And from the on position the lens can be manually rotated out to a maximum zoom of 4x just like that. And that zoom can be seen on both the LCD screen and inside the optical viewfinder. And in addition to having manual zoom, this camera also has what Fuji calls intelligent digital zoom. While taking photographs, this camera can take the manual 4x zoom and electronically double the size out to an 8x digital zoom. And it will display that digital zoom on the LCD screen right there. This camera also takes a good picture in very low light conditions, but if a flash is preferred, then lightly press down on the small lever that's on the back of the camera. And there it is. <laughs> and here's another nice feature. While doing videos, this camera can take a JPEG picture, and it can take that picture without interrupting the video 
just by pressing the OK button on the back of the camera right there and I like that feature and for the more serious photographer the X10 has many whistles and bells it has aperture adjustment shutter speed adjustment exposure compensation and several other things that I know nothing about <laughs> I'm not a serious photographer I'm more of a serious point-and-shoot picture taker so on my camera I leave the mode dial set to the EXR position nobody seems to know what EXR stands for not even the guys at Fuji but some people have suggested that the EXR should stand for extreme because the EXR mode does the same thing as the auto mode does on any compact camera only it does it better it's my understanding that the EXR mode automatically selects both the scene and the camera settings and then it takes two pictures at once it takes one picture at low intensity and the other picture at high intensity and then it averages the two pictures together and this camera will take photographs in two different kinds of formats for the point and shoot picture takers like myself this camera will take pictures in JPEG format and for the more serious photographers this camera will also take pictures in RAW format and Fuji includes this CD disc with the camera this CD disc has an application called Silky Pics which allows photos in RAW format to be viewed or edited on either a Windows PC computer or on a Mac computer and speaking of uploading pictures to the computer here's the 24 inch long USB cord that is also included with the camera I've owned this camera now for several weeks and I've discovered at least three things that may or may not be a negative issue for some folks the first issue being that small button on the back of the camera that's located in the lower right corner the button that's labeled RAW RAW this camera can take pictures in RAW format but this button has nothing to do with it on my camera this button displays camera settings like white balance, ISO speeds, and several other camera settings that I know nothing about. <laughs> and it's my opinion that this button should be labeled something like CS for camera settings. The bottom line is this button labeled RAW has nothing to do with taking photographs in RAW format and the second issue concerns the optical viewfinder the optical viewfinder does not display any framing or bracketing information when taking a photograph and although the LCD screen does show 100 percent of the photo coverage the optical viewfinder only shows 85 percent and the third issue is the fact that this camera does not have any simple on off date stamp feature this camera can put the date on a printed photograph but you may have to jump through some hoops to do it and you can read all about it in the owner's manual on page 70 so there you are if you think you'll have a problem with any one of these three issues that I have mentioned here then this X10 may not be your camera and now I'm going to talk about a fourth issue but it pertains to all compact cameras that I'm aware of and this X10 is no exception and it concerns the built-in microphone that very small hole on the front side of a compact camera right up there when taking a video sometimes the slightest wind can sound like a hurricane in the audio I'm sure I'm not the first person who has thought of this but I've come up with my Texas country boy 
engineering solution. What I do is I put a clean cotton ball in front of the microphone hole and hold it down with a rubber band. Only in this case, two cotton balls because the X10 has two microphone holes. This camera records in stereo sound. Now go ahead and laugh yourself silly and laugh yourself until you cry. But I'm telling you, it doesn't hurt the camera and it really works. It drastically decreases the wind noise and doesn't affect the natural sounds like people's voices. In fact, if I was 30 years younger, I might even patent this cotton ball and rubber band idea and make myself a million dollars. <laughs> okay, right up to this point, this has all been recorded with a Canon A1300 PowerShot compact camera. And it's been recorded in the standard 640 video format at 24 frames per second and in mono sound. And now I'm going to switch over to the Fuji X10 camera. Okay, here I am. I'm now being recorded with the Fuji FinePix X10 camera. And this is being recorded in the standard 640 video format only this time at 30 frames per second and in stereo sound. And this is what it looks like and sounds like on the Fuji X10 camera right here. Ain't I handsome? <laughs> and now I'm going to take the camera outside and do four photographs in a short high definition video. Here we go. Okay, I'm outside now, and this is what full high definition in stereo looks like and sounds like on the Fuji FinePix X10 camera, right here. <laughs> And with the mode dial set in the advanced position, the seamless panorama pictures are very easy to do. I took this 180 degree panorama picture out at the park and in the bright sunlight. And with the camera's mode dial set in the EXR position, I took these next three pictures one minute after sundown. That's my white car in the center of the photograph and I'm standing approximately 100 feet away from the car. And from standing in the same spot I manually zoomed the lens out to the maximum 4x and took this picture And standing in the exact same spot, I turned on the Fuji Intelligent Zoom and took this photograph at the maximum 8x digital zoom. Okay, I'm back inside again, and this is still being recorded with the Fuji X10, only this time in standard high definition. And if you want to learn more about the camera, then you can read all about it in this paperback owner's manual that comes with the camera. Or you can go to their website at fujifilm.com and read the X10 owner's manual online. And with all that said, this concludes my personal review of my Fujifilm FinePix X10 camera. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope it has been beneficial to you. Now don't be bashful, because I'm not. Send me a comment.
but I've got to warn you, if it's a bad comment, I'll probably delete it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching my review. Happy camera hunting. And bye-bye.